Here in Santa Barbara County, home to one of the longest running cloud seeding operations in the country. We've got some ground based cloud seeding equipment right here and we're going to get to hear all about how it works and see it in action. Let's check it out. Cloud seeding is the most common type of weather modification and it has many different techniques and applications. Today it's mostly used to increase rain and snowfall, reduce the size of hail, and reduce fog at airports. Traditionally cloud seeding has been done from the air. So air airplanes have had racks on them where these same flares are positioned on the airplane and the airplane flies into the storm. So in order to reduce the cost of the client and reduce our carbon footprint, uh, we've been able to station these on the ground. Now we can do this in places where weather permits. Behind a barbed wire fence designed to keep away curious cattle, the cloud seeding gear awaits the right kind of weather. So these are referred to as AHOGs. That stands for Automated High Output Ground Seeding Systems. We've got three primary components of our equipment here. Uh, the first is the control module that you see behind me. Then we have our actual cloud seeding flares. The cameras for security it also helps us observe weather conditions in real time and make sure that all of the equipment is operating correctly during a storm. Inside these canisters uh, are the flares with the seeding agents. The canisters are used as, as spark arresters, so they prevent sparks from reaching the ground. So if we pull off the spark arrestor, you can see the flare inside. The ignition of the flares are controlled from the control module that's behind us. So the white triangle there is a cell service modem and then the solar panel keeps us powered. Inside we have a battery and then a control board. So the control board interacts with the software. We're linked or synced with the software in Utah currently, and that allows us to fire or ignite any of the flares from that remote location.